This is Lou stressed. Morning guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. So today we're, um, the, well the sun's come out, so obviously we're gonna go to the woods and hide away. <laughs> uh, no, love going to the woods and obviously I've got my new um, birthday present I wanna try out as well, so that um, it's quite exciting for me. Yeah, well it's quite exciting because we haven't really been, we went to the beach one day, which is just down the road from my house, isn't it? And yeah. Apart from that, we've not really been anywhere, uh, so we're gonna, this is about what, about 40 minutes, 50 minute drive? Is it? I think so. Do you know the way? I do not know the way. Oh, it means I've got to be the sat nav. <laughs> that means we're going to get lost. Uh, I have excellent like navigational skills, actually. You don't. I do. I always get us home when we're lost in the woods. You don't. Louise gets us lost, and I have a homing beacon and gets us home. Is that my pie? Um, can I tell them the story of when you was in the Navy and you was team leader for the Orienteering? <laughs> What what did you do with your team? <laughs> Got them lost. <laughs> we was last back and I'm really competitive so I didn't like that. That's not nice Louise. My nav nav navigational skills have got way better since then. No, they haven't. Google Maps has been invented <laughs> since then. <laughs> driving doesn't have to fill up with fuel until the other day when she tried to get out of it which is why you'll see i'm always driving because <laughs> i hate getting fuel oh uh, she's a no oh, plus she doesn't like my driving either no she's like that no no you're a perfectly good driver i'm just a really crap passenger you're like Joni. Joni's her mum what's the price like 104.7. Yes! £1.4. What is it ever been? It's normally like £1.30 something. Is it though? Yeah. I don't want to do a reach around. Diesel. £1.4 still. Winner. Honestly, you're such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the one downside to Emily usually putting the fuel in uh, means she usually buys snacks. So here she comes. What's that she's got in her hands? So what's this you got there? I got me and your packet. <laughs> <laughs> you got some snacks. What else she got? What's this you got? Oh, that's my coffee. Put them in the snack cupboard. We've got a total of six cupboards right above our, our like overhead cupboards and we just dedicated an entire cupboard <laughs> <laughs> to snacks. Like it's a tiny space. We're well, gonna need that room. Yeah, for snacks. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Road. 
So we've just arrived at the woods, and honestly, like this is the busiest <laughs> I've ever seen it. <laughs> like we've been here a few times, um, especially over the years and stuff, because of the dogs and everything. But yeah, I have never ever seen it this busy. Yeah, it's pretty busy, but we're almost certain that at least two. There's a tent over there in one of the car parking spaces. Uh, so they've stayed overnight, and there's a camper van. Don't be a grass. No, no, telling them who they are. Yeah. There's a camper van there, and they have, they're just brushing their teeth, so they've pretty much uh, stayed here overnight as well. So we believe there is some overnight camping going on. Shh. We're not staying overnight. No, uh, we got uh, AJ to look after in the summer. <laughs> So this is our spot for the morning day. We'll see how long we're here for. But yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, it's lovely. And it's definitely better than the car park where we've been parked for the last, what, 10 months, 11 months where the van's been. <laughs> so yeah, pretty exciting stuff. find some fun apparently fun it will be when you fall off that's not nice is it uh, so we found a piece of rope um and there was no branch in it so i've selected a branch if it breaks <laughs> be my fault obviously let's hope it doesn't break eh? let's hope it does because <laughs> <laughs> i reached to swing myself louise the state of it <laughs> Down. I can't reach you. <laughs> What's it hurting? My mini. <laughs> <laughs> you want it or what? Yeah. <laughs> Not this time. I can't. Right. I married that. <laughs> Lucky. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> right. Muppet. Oh. I used to bang it on the head run. You're in my shop. But I am sorry, it was just for fun. I used to play a little. So just coming out of the back garden. Like, <laughs> look at the stuff. 
bite of that. You're a proper grub, you are. <laughs> Have a look at your feet now. Yeah, because I'm a clean person. <laughs> You're obviously just a dirty minger. <laughs> That's not nice, is it? So we're just being nosy because it's really busy here. Um, a car was blocked to by the way, and then you've got two horse riders that are like, "Excuse me, can you move your car, please? You're blocking the bridle way." Um, and now the man's lost his keys, so he's like <laughs> having a little paddy because he's lost his keys and stuff. So Ooh, shame. <laughs> Love a bit of drama. You're so nosy. Look at your face. Sunday fun day. Uh, so now the drama's finished. Emily's just going to do us up a, a bit of lunch. Well, I'm just eating. Right <laughs> Emily's lunch is what you having there? Chocolate vans. <laughs> Chocolate vans. Uh, we're going to have a salad. Uh, so we was going to have salad, uh, but let me show you <laughs> what's actually come out of the uh, the cooking department. So I've been presented with crisps and a bakewell. Exciting! <laughs> right, so I pointed out earlier Emily's filthy feet. Now she's taken her shoes off. <laughs> the situation's worse than first fault. Look at them beasts. Any other one? <laughs> Dirty minger. Ooh, Look at the state of that water. <laughs> you grub. <laughs> yeah, well, it's wild, baby. This is what I'm going to be like when um when we live van life. What a street urchin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not? Eating crisps and cake and washing your grubby feet in a, in a bowl. Yeah. Right, so, um, if you were with us last week, you might remember that it was my birthday and my mother-in-law, Joni, got me a present. So this is part one. And this is part two. What? Do that bit again. And Lou is going to put it up for me. So as part of the fixing kit that my mum got us, uh, she got us this really cool uh, nature fun something uh, fixing system. And basically we had a cheap hammock before and you was forever having to tie knots. Uh, so I think this is just going to make it so much easier to be able to put it up anywhere. So what are you doing? So you just wrap it around like that. Feed this end through the loop that's already there. Pull it tight and then on here you've got a hole all the way along that entire length uh, and then you get a carabiner and you just fix that to your hammock and then fix that to whichever hole you want and this is half so the distance between trees can be the width of the hammock to basically double the length of this because there's two of these obviously one on each end. So, yeah, yeah, that is quite long, isn't it? We'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. And it is up. So oh, yeah, look at basically, that. 
if you had, I mean, I've got, so that's probably, that gap there I reckon's about, I don't know, three and a half metres. Mm -hmm. So the hammock itself is about three metres, so you need a minimum gap of three metres, but then this, I've got all that extra length, plus the same again over there. So if you had two trees or the van, we're going to try and use the van to aid one tree. It just means you've got so much flexibility. And you saw how easy it was that was to put up. I didn't even have to tie a knot. Yeah. Well, this is the first time we've used it out. We've only used it in the garden, so... <laughs> let's, uh, let's pray to God you fall out. That's not nice. I don't know if I can get in it. So this is another reason why I wanted to have clean feet. <laughs> because I'm not getting in my, my lovely new hammock. With dirty feet. Oh, look at this. And that is how you easily set up a hammock in the woods yep. or wherever you are. <laughs> um, if you've been with this channel for a while, yes, you know there's going to be a link in the description uh, for both the hammock and the fixing system. Uh, the fixing system, I should say, comes with the carabiners as well. So that's the you just need those two things. That's it. Comfy cozy. Right, while Emily's chilling in her hammock. Uh, where we're parked, there's like a, either a pair of wrens or like a family of wrens. Uh, so I'm gonna go and see if I can get some decent shots of the wrens. Uh, one of the great things about the van, or having the van, for me anyway, because I'm into wildlife photography, is you can literally just park it, chill out here for a couple of hours, um, and just see what comes, if there's anything to, to take a picture of. So yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get some wrens. If not, I'll definitely get either a squirrel or a blackbird. Uh, but we'll try for the wrens. If you don't know what a wren is, uh, Google them. They're such a cool little bird. Right, let's go. Over here we have the Emily. We'll try and get a closer look of it in its natural habitat. Ah! But we'll try not to scare her because they can anger quite easily. What are you doing? Hey? Nothing, I'm coming in there with you now. You're not. I am. You're not. I am. There's no room, it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in. There's no room in the hammock. You take your shoes off. Yeah. Push over them. Oh, I don't know how bad this is. <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> no. No. I'm not going to fall out. You're not going to fall out. <laughs> Move your ass over. I can't, it's too big. What, your ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Don't tell Emily, but I haven't washed my feet. <laughs> It's a hammock, there's not a lot of space. <laughs> you just spat at me. <laughs> right, so that's probably it from us this week, guys. Um, we're going to chill in uh, the woods for a bit longer and then go home and see AJ. Um, yeah. But if you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, ding the notifications bell if you want to be notified when there's new videos. Thumbs up! Do the thumbs up and we will see you next week. Yeah, I'm going to kick Louise out of my hammock now. <laughs> <laughs>